Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're on January 29th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Starting out here looking at the sun at 304 angstroms. Huge plasma filament ripping away from the northwestern quarter there. Look at that. Just kind of suspends itself there for a bit and then whip rips away. Still watching active sunspot region here firing away. But no events to talk about. Just the small activity. Wind speed is calm. Solar wind speeds are calm. Out around 350 kilometers per second. Here's another look at that plasma filament ripping away. I want to thank and welcome all of my new subscribers. My gosh, I got like 250 new subscribers, new friends and family. Welcome to the family. Welcome to Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, where I post my severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. We're going to hop over here to earthquakes. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Look at around the world. It is a shaken. My, oh my, most recent there in Iran, 4.9. Albania with a sizable 5.1. Watch for Etna and Sicily. And as well, Stromboli. 5.3 here in Tajikistan. Indonesia going off a 5.1 there in Japan. And as well, sizable 6.1 here in Kirikira, Solomon Islands. Again, they've had two pretty sizable earthquakes in that region. 5.3 there in Alaska. And yeah, after that large earthquake in Jamaica yesterday, we did see some movement across the New Madrid. Very sizable 7.7 it was actually upgraded from a 7.3 to a 7.7 .7 and still watching a lot of aftershocks in the region sizable too they're staying in the 4 and 5 range earthquake swarm continuing there and as well South America today rocking with a 5.1 in Peru 4.2 in Chile as well Africa today with a 4.7 Uganda and across Europe, it's uh, definitely a seismic increase through Albania and Greece. Looking across New Zealand here, sizable 5.3. That was on the 25th, but this is since the 25th. Just wanted to share this region as well because it doesn't show on the other map. Hop over here to the Pacific Disaster Center. And of course, 7.7 .7 in Jamaica. Most recent volcanoes going off. Reventador, Asosan, Era in Japan. New fires breaking out in Australia. And if you'd like to get this up, it's very informative. It gives you all alerts for everything from around the world. Disasters, diseases, winter storms. Look at the size of this low pressure system that's heading into Alaska and British Columbia. I warned two videos ago about this storm. It will be dropping over 350 centimeters of snow on the coastline in Alaska. Stay aware and prepared, Alaskan friends and family. Big storm on your doorstep. As well, the United Kingdom is being affected by many low pressure vortices hanging out in the Arctic, Mediterranean, also feeling it across South America, heavy rains and flooding being reported across parts of Bolivia and into Paraguay. Friend me up on Facebook, everybody, if you like. Link is on my About page, and I share many stories and videos on there as well on what's happening on our planet around the world. God bless humanity. We're going to give you here a Wuhan coronavirus update as there are now 6,172 cases. And we've got three confirmed here in Canada, five in the, in the 
United States. So right now, that is 20 countries that are being affected by the Wuhan coronavirus, the Wuhan coronavirus, 6,172 cases. And you can see the, uh, it's taken a, it's not really increasing anymore uh, since the dramatic increase we saw two days ago. But as well, a link for this is in the description below if you'd like to stay aware and prepared yourself. I can't give updates all the time every day. I'm doing my best. So yeah, we've got a situation as well developing across Australia as that large low pressure system is bringing a deluge of rain and it's gonna hang around here the next five day forecast on a very dry desolate continent, Australia. So watch for flash flooding and as well landslides along the northern coastline of Australia as these heavy rains are coming in and that low pressure system is growing. Stay aware, prepared, my friends and family. And thank you for watching and tuning in to Morning Dew. I'm really happy that I can share my research with you. So here's the low pressure system that's coming off of China. It's going to be a very sizable one. Look at this. It's like half the size of the Pacific and being ramped up by a huge high pressure in front of it. And it's going to head straight to Alaska again. So they're going to get a double punch, winter storm, Alaska, BC coastline. They've, they're already experiencing high winds and heavy rains, heavy snows in higher elevations. Throughout Alberta, well, southern Alberta, we've got a Chinook hanging around here the next few days as that low pressure system sits off the coast. But look at this, some really heavy snow and heavy downpours throughout the BC coastline. So watch for an uptick in seismicity throughout this region as well over the next five days. Across the United States, pretty seasonable, but very dry. The only thing that will be affecting the United States is the eastern seaboard as a low pressure system develops out of the Gulf. And then we've got an Alberta clipper that forms in a few days and heads to Ontario to bring a brushing of snow as well. South America, daily evaporation. As I posted when I was uh, showing the Pacific Disaster Center, there are many flood alerts across the country. And the next five day forecast is showing a continuing pattern, not much changing. Across the United Kingdom and Europe, cold low pressure system hanging around parts of the northern United Kingdom parts of Finland and Sweden and then in the five day forecast another blizzard forming for Russia but look here the next five days is just low pressure system after low pressure system battering Europe bringing a lot of rain and high winds to the coastlines. I'm gonna leave you here, looking at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere, low pressure systems, as well watch throughout Africa in the, in the coming days. As the rains continue, flood alerts will pop up again. And then we've got a cyclone developing later in the week right here. Thank you all for watching today and tuning in to Morning Dew. I'm happy that you enjoy the content that I create for you, helping you stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.